and we are speaking with Vincenzo Natale, the director of Splice. Vincenzo, welcome back to Toronto. Thank you. Thank you. It's my hometown. Your, Feels good. Your film Splice deals with some really heavy, you know, weighty moral issues, but it's also a genre film. How important was it for you to balance the intellectual pro, you know, meat of the story with the necessity to tell a great story which is going to scare and thrill audiences mm -hmm. because this is a summer movie now. Yeah, uh, well, I, you know, I'm a greedy filmmaker. I want everything. And, and I don't get to make films often, so when I do, I, I throw in the kitchen sink. And in the case of Splice, um, I always knew that first and foremost, it's a creature film. And, and I, need to, I needed to respect the genre. So I, I hope that Splice does everything that one would want in this kind of movie. Um, but at the same time, it's a very emotional film. And, and it, was, it was the alchemy between those two things, splicing a, a relationship story to a creature film that really excited me about it. And, uh, and so I, I hope, you know, it's a, it's a good meal. It's a full meal. You get, um, uh, you know, a nice appetizer, a, a, a good solid main course, and, and then a, a, a light dessert. Your characters, Clive and Elsa, are brilliant geneticists to create a creature, Dren, which combines human DNA with animal DNA and comes up with something unimaginable. Do you think in real, actually in the film and also in real life, that scientists have a responsibility to perhaps sometimes temper their imaginations? Is this a cautionary tale? Uh, I suppose it is a cautionary tale in a manner of speaking, but I think that you know, it is fantasy. It's not a documentary. And uh, I feel, I'm actually, I've worked with some geneticists on this movie, so I have tremendous respect for them. And I think in no way would I ever want to inhibit the real work, the fine work that goes on in labs uh, all across the world. I think that on a more sort of a larger scale, on a philosophical scale, I do think that one has to be cautious. And, you know, it was, it was announced only less than a week ago that Craig Venter, who's one of the most famous geneticists in the world, had actually engineered synthetic life um, for the first time, named Cynthia. Uh, and, uh, and this does raise questions. I mean, it's a powerful tool. It's like nuclear energy. It can be used for good or for ill, and, and it has to be uh, used responsibly. responsibly. But I, I'd never thought of Splice as really, I never wanted to get on a soapbox. Actually, I think that with Splice, I think that Splice is a movie that you know, walks some pretty gray moral terrain and, and hopefully deals with the subject matter in a, in a, uh, a way that's um, more sophisticated than a lot of other Frankenstein-type stories. And finally, talking of Frankenstein, obviously Clive and Elsa are homages to Clive and Elsa from The Bride of Frankenstein. Right. What is the relate beyond that, what is the relationship between Splice and the Frankenstein films, you know, thematically and personally? Uh, well, I love the James Whale Frankenstein films. Um, and, and Clive and Elsa are named after Colin Clive and Elsa Lancaster from those movies. Uh, I love them so much that I in no way wanted to duplicate them. I felt that this was a Frankenstein story that needed to be pushed into the 21st century. So where Frankenstein is a father-son story, Splice is truly a mother-daughter story. And, and Elsa is our protagonist. Um, it's also a movie that becomes a kind of love triangle, and there's a sexual component to it. So I think all of those things really put it in a slightly different context. It skews it. I mean, as much as I want this to be a film that follows in the footsteps of, of Mary Shelley, I, I wanted to mutate the paradigm. I wanted to push it in a slightly different direction. And, and I, I do believe that Splice has some things in it that you haven't seen before in a film. And Splice opens June 4th with through E1 Entertainment in Canada, and the or through the states. Good luck with it. Oh, thank you. Thank you.